Hey YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're taking a look at a Transformers Universe figure and its depth charge. Of course, this is the repaint and uh, reissue of the Beast Wars uh, figure of depth charge. Now, I got this guy at a dirt mall uh, or a flea market, whatever you want to call them, and I actually picked up a complete Magna Boss uh, for 25 bucks and got a part for my injector figure, which was which was a few bucks. And uh, the guy, instead of hunting down and change, said, I'll give you this depth charge for $5. I couldn't pass it. I'm like, okay, yeah, sounds like a deal. Um, I was I looked at it and originally passed it uh, for the Magnum Boss, but I couldn't pass him up. I actually passed this toy at Target years ago in 2004 when it first came out. Um, I was really tempted to pick it up, but it was kind of pricey. And I was just like, nah, I'm not going to do it. And I regretted it uh, because I hadn't seen the figure since. Now, he is missing a few parts. He's missing his little uh, shark drone, and he's missing the discs that go into his chest. But that's okay. $5, I can't really complain about it. Um, so the Transformers Universe line, if you don't know what that line is, it was basically a Generations type of line or a Classics type of line, except they took some popular toy molds and they repainted them um, with a lot of red. There was a lot of red and white uh, in, in the repaints. And there was a 3H comic that went along with it in a storyline. Basically, they were fighting Unicron. Uh, it was trans-dimensional, uh, you know, for the multiverse kind of thing. And they brought back a bunch of toys from a lot of the di different generation lines and just repainted them and uh, put them in the toy line, which was a cool line. I liked it. I, I really wish they'd kind of keep doing it. So, this is the redeco of Depth Charge. Now, I actually, I think I like this color variation better. Um, the original one looked a bit like a Decepticon to me. I don't know. Uh, this one just really, really nice. I absolutely adore the paint scheme on his wings. Um, it's got this nice airbrushed feel. The colors work really well together. He looks more like an Autobot in this format than he did in uh, the Beast Wars, uh, more of than he did a Maximal. The Beast, Beast Wars version was very Decepticon looking to me. Uh, but yeah, there's his head sculpt. I mean, it's the exact same mold. There were some changes made for safety. These leg pieces, much more malleable plastic. Um, they did some adjustments to the Shark Drone and they put five discs in instead of the original seven that uh, this figure had initially. But, uh, yeah, I really do like it. Depth Charge, of course, Beast Wars character. He was kind of the Omega Supreme of Beast Wars, in my opinion. Uh, his whole goal in life was to go after Rampage, or Protoform X, as he was originally called. And uh, for basically, uh, this guy was a security marshal. And Ramp uh, Rampage, or Protoform X, uh, escaped imprisonment and slaughtered everybody that was supposed to be under his protection. And... He made it his goal to destroy him, and he was pretty much joyless and very blah, much like Omega Supreme. And then at the end uh, of uh, the last season of Beast Wars, Depth Charge actually ends up killing Rampage, which I don't know how. He was supposed to be indestructible, but uh, they end up killing each other. They blow each other up at the bottom of the ocean. So, yeah interesting <laughs> but the the robot mode itself is it's okay it's pretty decent i guess it's a big it's an ultra class figure um the tailpiece becomes a sword he doesn't really have much as far as movement and the legs i mean they go up and down his feet kind of sit there his arms have pretty decent um adjustment at the elbow and up at the shoulder his head turns left and right He's got these massive wings, and here's the biggest problem with this guy. He is 
Captain Backpack. I don't think I have ever seen a figure with a bigger back. I mean, he's got so much backpack, he has to have a prop to stand up in the back. Which, <laughs> on one hand, it's good that they put this piece here so it does stand up well. Um, there's, you know, on a lot of the forums, there's a lot of complaint that uh, he's hard to stand up. I really, I use that to prop him up and it looks decent and I can't really complain much about it. Now, the gimmick <clears throat> with the uh, discs, they obviously uh, came out of this hole in the front of his chest and then you had this piece back here, you would pull back and you could fire the discs out. Much like the Air Attack Optimus Primal figure, uh, which is a cool gimmick. I do like it. Um, but, you know, maybe I'll find the disc somewhere and pick them up. I'm not too terribly worried about that. Um, I just like the robot figure itself. Um, this will probably be how it's displayed in my collection. Um, I don't know. Maybe the Manta Ray mode. He does have three modes, much like Rampage did. Um, the third mode is kind of weak, um, but we'll go over all of those. So, um, but like a lot of the Transmetal figures... He had a robot mode, a beast mode, and a quasi-vehicle mode. So let's take a look at his Manta mode and see what we think about that. Alright, so here we have Depth Charge in his Manta Ray mode. And this thing is huge! Um, God, I love, love the color of those wings. They did such a great job with it. And they're actually painted on both sides. Um... Here's his face, uh, just gnarly looking, the big gaping mouth where the discs fly out. We've got this really nice Autobot logo painted on the front, which is funny because he's got the Autobot logo here. And then on the undercarriage, we've got these nice kind of molded in Maximal logos on the wings. Now, the bottom of the piece, you start to get some robot kibble, but he is also a, keep in mind, he is a... Um, Transmetal figure, uh, so yeah, not so transmetal in this mode, I guess. Well, I guess sort of, but uh, you know, it's okay. I don't mind the mode. I think it looks pretty cool. It's definitely different. Um, now the wings do have, as far as posability, I mean, you can kind of adjust them if you want. There's also hinges here that you can adjust. Um, the tail does move back and forth. And then this piece is supposed to flip up and down, but it feels like it's going to break on mine, so I don't really mess with it too terribly much. Um, other than that, I mean, that's really about it. The gimmick still works in the beast mode, where you can pull the piece back and it shoots the, the discs out. But yeah, this thing is huge. Uh, just for a comparison shot, here is my 90% completed Injector now. Um, so you can see he's a pretty good size. Uh, Injector is a deluxe figure. Um, and uh, Depth Charge here is an Ultra figure. Uh, so, yeah, not too bad. $5, $3 for that one piece on the back of Injector. So, um, I, I think it's a hell of a deal. Um, not too bad, not too shabby. Uh, he's definitely worth the money if you can pick him up for that price. If you're a Beast Wars fan, you're definitely going to want this guy. Um, just the paint scheme alone is just so beautiful. Now, um, another thing in this, just to kind of look at it real quick, we'll flip it upside down, uh, or side here. He's got these little jet propulsion pieces. Those are his hands. They pop open and spin around. One of the things that you can do if you wanted to in robot mode is uh, turn one of his hands into kind of a gun type of thing and give him kind of a, uh, a grapple or a hoist look. Uh, where he's got a gun for a hand instead of an actual hand. Uh, so that's kind of a nice little option that you can do there uh, in the robot mode. Kind of cool, kind of fun. Gives him a little bit of a G1 feel. So let's get him into his third mode, uh, which is an air skimmer slash uh, spaceship, and uh, see what we think of that. All right, so here we have Depth Charge in his air skimmer slash spaceship mode. Yeah, this is a stretch. I mean, all these um, Transmetal figures had this third mode. Um, I think Rampage is probably the best one out of all those. Uh, it just, it really, really kind of pushing it. But, yeah, so he's supposed to have this TIE Fighter type look. I think we see this one time in the show with Rat Trap riding on him. 
Um, I cannot recall. If you know off the top of your head, let me know. Uh, but I guess on the molding, if you look on the side of the molding, he does have kind of these um, little rocket looking things on the side. So, sure, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's just kind of a weak little mode, and it was just one of those extra little throw-ins. Hey, can we... Uh, can we throw something in there? Almost looks like a lionfish in this mode to me. Um, but it, it's kind of cool to see both sides of the actual uh, winglets. And, of course, we've got the little gun pieces here. So it kind of looks like he's got uh, some firepower. Um, it's, it's okay. I mean, it could be worse, I suppose. He's definitely, I think, going to go into his robot mode on the shelf for me. But it's something different. So there he is, Depth Charge in all three modes from the Transformers Universe line. Um, again, great pickup for $5. If you can find this guy cheap, he's definitely worth picking up. Um, if you didn't get the original mode, the original mold, I think um, I was talking to Caked Up 83, and I think he said the original figure from Beast Wars in the 90s runs about $60 nowadays. Um, so if you can find this guy cheap, it's not a bad alternative. And personally, maybe I'm biased because I picked this guy up. I like this color scheme better than the original one. I just think it works better. It's beautifully painted. I mean, you can't say anything wrong about those wings. That's probably, in my opinion, one of the best paint jobs in all of the Transformers toy lines. So there he is, Depth Charge. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and look for more videos in the future.